It is the middle of the day and the middle of the week, so we're here for you. Thanks so much for joining us on CBS News 24-7. I'm Errol Barnett. And I'm Lana Zak. Here's a look at the top stories we're following for you right now. Crews race to restore power in Texas, where Hurricane Barrel has given way to potentially deadly heat. President Biden welcomes NATO leaders to Washington amid continuing questions over his fitness to run for re-election. And former President Trump returns to the campaign trail as speculation swirls around a potential running mate. And later for you all this hour, at least 20 people were killed in new Israeli airstrikes in Gaza. We'll look at what was targeted and its impact on efforts to restart ceasefire talks. And attorneys lay out their cases at Alec Baldwin's movie set shooting trial in New Mexico. We're going to break down those opening statements and address whether jurors can expect to hear from the actor himself. All right, at this moment, world leaders are in Washington for NATO's 75th anniversary summit. And the three-day event, of course, coincides with President Biden trying to reassure Democrats that he should be their nominee to face President Trump in the general election, as questions mount whether he's actually able to serve another four years as commander-in-chief. The president kicked off the summit last night, delivering an impassioned speech to the guests. To look back with pride at all we've achieved and look ahead to our shared future with strength and with resolve. Together, we rebuilt Europe from the ruins of war, held high the torch of liberty. Let's bring in CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian, as you see, that, see there, joining us from Capitol Hill. Uh, Nicole, I'm curious what you're hearing from lawmakers now since Democrats over the weekend, um, or at least I should mention that earlier today, Nancy Pelosi spoke to MSNBC about her thoughts specifically on whether the president should step aside from the campaign. Let's listen to that, get your response on the other side. It's up to the president to decide if he is going to run. Uh, we're all encouraging him uh, to, to make that decision uh, because time is running short. Uh, the, uh, I think, overwhelming support of the, of the caucus, it's not for me to say, I'm not the head of the caucus anymore, but uh, he's beloved, he is respected, and people want him to make that decision, he has not me. How, how is that being interpreted, Nicole, and, and what do you make of that remark? Well, first, I would note that we actually did speak with the Speaker Emerita, our 